I have heard of and seen people who have worked in MBB are extremely valued in the job market, both in short term and in the longer term. Now the question, why are experiences at these companies so lucrative and valued? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, um, uh, there's quite a set of reasons. I mean, first of all, um, I think how you could summarize it is at a firm like McKinsey or Boston Consulting Group or Bain, you learn how to be a professional in all, on all dimensions, really. And um, there is hardly any profession where you have this uh, combination of very high intensity in terms of uh, yeah, <laughs> energy, uh, in terms of uh, the daily day-to-day uh, -day work, at the same time working on very, very significant topics, at the same time interacting with pretty senior people and decision makers, and at the same time also honing um, honing your skills on a technical level, so how to do analyses, how to uh, um, yeah, uh, properly uh, distill insights, how to then present those insights, and then within a very, very short time frame, um, switching the perspective um, and then giving directions to more junior team members and steering your own focus more towards how do I... Um, yeah, how do I create work streams, right? How do I delegate tasks? How do I manage through a project? And then uh, also, how do I manage stakeholders, right? So, and all of this is happening at a much higher speed compared to, um, yeah, in a normal industry career. Because in a normal industry career, when you stay at a normal career path, uh, usually it takes about, whatever, a decade or so <laughs> to go through all of these different responsibilities. And in most cases, it will not even be enough to stay on one career path because in order to have all of these, yeah, uh, uh, all of this exposure, usually in, in most industries, you would even have to, to switch jobs uh, at least uh, one or two times. Right. So um, it is essentially this combination of, yeah, having different responsibilities and different uh, perspectives within a very, very limited time frame of just a couple of years um, and just the intensity of the work and the caliber of the people that you interact with. And if you are someone who has this, then you are offering a package to the job market that most people don't have, at least not at uh, a comparable seniority. Because then uh, what you have built up in terms of yeah, skill set and toolkit is then usually equivalent uh, to what someone brings to the table who is many, many years senior to you, uh, uh, if you made a career in industry, for example. So, um, and I think this is, yeah, at least one of the very, very important points when it comes to what makes people so valued in the, yeah, in the job market. Right? And of course, also, I mean, there's one, one additional thing. Uh, it's about work ethic. Um, just to give you, <laughs> this is a bit funny, uh, and, but, but it shows you really, um, uh, what I mean with this. So um, at, at one of, of my clients, it's many, many years ago, um, I saw an internal document where they were essentially debating on how to, um, yeah, how to tackle a specific challenge that they had, right? And how to allocate resources to it. And there were essentially two options that they were debating, right? Either they would allocate an internal team of, I think, nine full-time equivalents, right? Or they, <laughs> they would hire uh, a McKinsey uh, um, and uh, then allocate uh, two associates, right? So these were the two options. Two McKinsey associates or nine full-time equivalents from our company. And this gives you, <laughs> I mean, it sounds a bit funny, <laughs> but it, it, it gives you an impression of uh, the intensity of work, but also, of course, of the efficiency of work that you can expect um, from, yeah, um, from a well-trained uh, consulting team. <laughs>